All right, finger tapping. So my suggestion was to start at the 240 and just kind of add a little bit at a time. So like any kind of warm up for this, like would just be like playing one of the bars or just one of the patterns and maybe not just, you know, uh, only playing each little three note grouping four times. You could do it more than that. So what I mean is instead of starting off with just this, like a, you could do that, but maybe just to kind of get into the rhythm and everything, just, you can just do that. You can do it on each string a little bit. And, yeah, so we were going, like, backwards yesterday. So, you can go backwards or you can go forwards. But yeah, just, like, starting with, you know, like, that much. And then going to that much. And then that. Then that. Then that. And then all the way to there. That's a good thing to do. Um, yeah, you can also go backwards and, like, do that first. And then do that. And then that that one that one and that one so either go forward one bar at a time or go backwards one bar at a time but try and stay at that 240 as much as you can um so yeah let's demonstrate the whole thing at the 240. one two one two three four one two three four One, two, three, four. Yeah, that was bad. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, number two, you know, this, this might be an okay thing to also just try doing at the 240, seeing if you can just even get a little bit, um, like, really, really tiny amount. So, something just like this, even just that. And then try a couple. A little bit more. Ooh, that was bad. You can practice that little transition like that. on but um that's like you know that's, that's a good thing to do just to kind of get your your hand and your fingers moving as fast as you want it to so because I, I know you can move or do pull offs at 240 i know the problem is putting all of it together that's where it becomes a ch uh, challenge because the movement going from one position to the next. And then there's also the issue of some technique breakdown uh, when you were doing something like this before. So doing those little bursts can be really helpful um, just to make sure you can remember what it feels like to move that fast. But because the, we do have a technique issue that can sometimes happen, it's still a good idea to keep working this one up in fives to make sure 
that uh, all the pull-offs are, are being done properly. And it's great endurance work too. So let's play this at some different tempos here. 60, one, two, three, four. Twenty. One, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. And good old two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Oof. The back of my forearm is starting to get tired. That was interesting. All right, number three. Ah, oh, yes, that was the theory stuff. And right, you're going to keep working on the hammer-on thing, getting that down. Or was it uh, one, two, three, one, two, three? Yep. Okay, uh, I think that covers it all. So any questions come up, let me know, and I'll see you again next week.